What is going on guys? It's been a while since I've been recording, but we're back from the holidays guys and I hope you all have a good day. Had a good day, had a good Christmas, New Year's. I know with COVID it is what it is, but hopefully you guys made the best of it. Um, just real quick, wanted to give you guys an update of what's been happening since the last video. Uh, for starters, as you can see behind me, I went ahead and uh, painted our side here in the shop. We did get it. From the last video, I said I was working on it, but we did end up getting the shop, so bam. That's the shop for us, as far as our corner goes. So you can see I got the Evos back there on the cover. Got the Omni and the good old off-road Miata. So yeah, guys, the um, plan is gonna be finish this car. We got another project that's gonna then come in, and we'll get that done as soon as possible, because it's gonna be my daily. Um, and then we'll start moving on with the Omni, with the Evos, and get those done. That's the plan for this location. Now, I've also been getting some work done in the garage. I'm gonna go ahead and teleport to the garage, show you guys what we've been doing there, and then what the updates are gonna be regarding that area. Um, and yeah, guys, I'm excited. I'm excited here. We gotta get going. We gotta get these cars rolling because they're just sitting and I want to start having fun with them. So stay tuned for that. Let's teleport over to the garage, guys. All right, guys, we're back in the garage. As you can see, bam, 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 bam. It's all there. Woo, baby. Got me some speakers. Pops hooked it up for the birthday. Girl hooked it up for the birth, well, Christmas. Got myself a receiver, got the speaker, so I can listen to some music while I'm in here. Um, as you can see, we actually fit one, two, three. We got three cars along the side. And then we got the little Miata in the front. And the door still closes. So we can fit some cars in here comfortably um, when hurricane season comes around, right? But yeah, I think the next plan as far as the garage is gonna be um, the lifts. So I want to get a four post lift where the Evo kind of is. Put a four post there. That way I can put the Evo up top. I'll put the Supra along the bottom of it. And then I can fit a smaller car in the front when I need it. Only when I need it. So it's only during hurricane season basically. All right? Um, and then I want to get the two post right along here where the toolbox is mainly. So there to there, and go up, have one car on the lift, and then I can park one where the black car is, and then one behind it, and that'll be six cars that I can fit in here when a hurricane comes. Other than that, I'm not gonna keep the garage that full, so. But it's slowly coming together. We'll move the toolbox to a different location when I need to, that way I have space, and then we can get cracking on these cars because they're just kind of sitting, man. We got the M there, just sitting. You know, I daily drive the Challenger, so that at least is getting some sort of use, but everything else is pretty much sitting around. So once I get this all set up, um, right now I'm running an extension cord to the house as my power source. Um, but yeah, little by little, we'll get working. I think uh, we're gonna finish up some of the stuff on the Challenger here next. And then once we have that done, that should be I think one video, all I have to do is the speakers and some other stuff. Um, so that should take care of that car. Then we're going to get cracking on the Miatas. I want to get this one back up and running and kind of taking over the daily duties. Um, this one overheated on me, unfortunately. So now the motor is kaput, kaput. She still starts, but she overheats. So I actually have a donor motor that I'm going to set up. Um, I don't know yet. You can probably just throw the donor motor in there and just run it and then redo this one and then down the road we'll turbo the Miata and have some fun with that. Um, and kind of set it up for drifting, but that won't be probably till summertime because I want to get some other stuff done. I want to get the SRT back up and running. Um, that's going to be the next big goal is the SRT because I want to take it completely apart, send it to paint, get it painted nice, fresh. Bring it back and then replace everything and set that car up for autocross. Um, and then everything else will be just fun cars. Who knows? We'll see. We'll see where the road takes us, guys. We'll see where the road takes us. 
2021. Let's hope it's a good year. Let's hope we got a bunch of car events um, that we can go to. I know the tracks are open, so it's just a matter of getting some cars over there. Um, we'll take the M, we'll take the SRT, we'll see what they run right now. The M is, I think only has uh, an exhaust, if I'm not mistaken. And that's it, pretty much. Yeah, that's it, just the exhaust. And then we can do some bolt-ons on that, see how it goes. Uh, take care of the rods, the rod bearing. I know they suffer from it. Um, this one's fine so far, but since it is over, it's up there, so might as well, you know, as a preventative measure, measure get that done. And then the SRT is fine, it's no biggie on that. That's got a few bolt-ons, get it tuned, see what it does at the track, hopefully it can run, hopefully, in the 12s maybe i don't know i don't know where they run stock i gotta look into it but we got some plans guys we got some plans we got this garage ready to go for the most part and then we also have the shop by my job so we'll be shuffling between the two um especially with the miata stuff content and then we'll start getting some other cars out the way guys so just stay tuned i got this new camera by the way i, I am running a g7x now as my main camera just because it's a lot easier to hold, you know, I can do stuff easier, feels easier at least. Um, we're gonna see how the audio quality is compared to my T5i, because on the T5i, I had a Rode mic on it with a little, what they call it, for the wind, the wind noise thing, cancellator. Um, this one's got a little earmuff too on there, so we'll see how it uh, actually comes out. But I'm excited guys, I'm excited, new year. I want to get stuff done. I'm happy my garage is pretty much set up as far as what I need here. I'm just gonna get a cabinet um, to put like my detailing stuff, car wash stuff in there, and maybe like a small shelf, nothing crazy. Cause I don't want to just start packing the garage with stuff. We don't have that much room. Uh, but yeah, I got some stuff in the works. We'll see how that plays out, but. We got a new car, like I told you guys. Um, so yeah, yeah. anyway, so we got a few things coming up this year. We're gonna get some stuff done. Um, I definitely wanna get stuff done because I wanna start enjoying these cars for 2021. Join them, break them, fix them, you know, the whole process. And at least we can uh, alternate cars. When one goes down, we can kind of play with another one while we fix the, uh, the broken car and keep doing that. So that's gonna be the plan, guys. Uh, Bear with me, um, but we're gonna get some stuff out, guys. We're gonna have, we're gonna have some fun. We'll have some fun here. We'll get some projects done and uh, enjoy them and bring you guys along with it, right? Anyways, y'all know what to do. Peace out. She loving the fact I'm American. They tell me that I need a therapist. And lady, I've been acting American. I've been in the cut doing it my way. But you flipping triple digits on the highway. But we could probably take it back to my place. And I'll show you what it's like to live with my name. Yeah. yeah. They try to tell me that I never listen. Always been the type to make my own decisions. Never been the type to live in fear. Now I'm making money from my intuition. Like, damn. Better know when I'm in. I've been coming through hot, better know when I land. I've been getting more known from the old to Japan. Now